What up? Big Herc 916, positivity, motivation. And man, it's been a free for all in the city of San Francisco. If you haven't heard, man, some cats recently hit the Louis Vuitton store and dude, they just ran up in there and started grabbing. And, uh, you know, employees, they've been told to stand down. So you got cats organizing that are running around and they're just hitting stores left and right man it's uh it's it's wild out there man it was nothing like that when i was out there as a kid but you got cats now they just they putting in work man and um these cats they they you know probably assumed they were going to get away it looks like the police caught some of them and um i'm quite sure the other ones who thought they got away are going to get caught eventually but um, they hitting big ticket stores. They're not just hitting the uh, Walgreens. They were hitting in the CVS's, which are closing down left and right. But they're hitting any and everywhere. Nothing is off limits. Um, I got friends that live out there. And he said his car has been broken into three times in the last couple months. And people are literally leaving notes in their car that say there is no valuables in my car and uh, you know it doesn't matter they're still breaking windows just taking whatever they can take he said man people come out and there there's uh, human feces in between your car where they're squatting out in between the cars um, some people are just you know breaking in cars sleeping in them um, if you're a tourist, they tell you don't rent a car out there because, you know, you you are going to be a victim. Essentially, somebody's going to see your luggage or see that um, the car has been parked somewhere on the street. And it could be anywhere. It, it's not just, um, you know, areas that are, you know, like the Tenderloin, which is out of control, looks like third world. But they're talking like, you know, if you're down by the pier, Fisherman's Wharf, uh, Ghirardelli Square, your car can be broken into. Um, my friend's uh, uh, friend just moved out there, $2 million crib, and um, he can't go visit this person because you will know, park on the street in front of a $2 million house and your car will get broken into. So I don't know where, where it ends, man. I don't understand how people are cool with that. I don't understand how the city has act like this is this all right and you know, if you don't know, 142,000 is considered poverty in San Francisco. If you're making $142,000, you're still eligible for um, government aid. Nowhere else in the country, I don't think they're getting that. If you're making $142,000, but you don't get shit in San Francisco for that amount of money. And so recently, just yesterday, outside of the Louis Vuitton lick, they hit Nordstrom's. 25 cars blocked traffic, ran up in Nordstrom's, and dude, 100 people, everybody. They had, they had uh, crowbars, they had hammers, and Nordstrom's got ransacked. Ransacked. You got to make you wonder what um you know what is the the uh, the sentiment as far as the people and the business owners around there who are trying to run a business and you know businesses bring commerce to the community they bring prosperity to the areas because people come and shop spend money but if Nordstrom's is getting hit and this is Walnut Creek Walnut Creek is a nice area well, it was a nice area, you know, when I knew of it in the Bay Area. But Walnut Creek is a nice area, and they tore that Nordstrom's up. 25 cars blocking traffic. This is organized. And, uh, man, these cats is not playing out there. But it's the Bay. If you ain't been to the Bay, you go to certain parts, you ain't supposed to be over there, you might get your wig split. But the stores out there are hurting. You would be a fool to open up a business in San Francisco right now and think you could actually operate without somebody coming in there and robbing you 
because they're hitting everywhere. They putting that little mask on, hoodie on, and it's a wrap. They show people riding around in cars um, looking for, you know, uh, vehicles parked that have anything that resembles a valuable, and they're at it. So, uh, free for all in San Francisco, man, and it's it's wild, man. I mean, I couldn't imagine anybody trying that out here because they're gonna get the they're gonna get their head blasted. <laughs> you know, they ain't playing out here in AZ. You know, you go anywhere in the Midwest, man. They're not the storms is not playing. But they're so, uh, I guess, I don't know, pacified down in San Francisco where, you know, they done made it to where they know that you're not going to get prosecuted. People are like, hell, we might as well just go all in. So who knows where it's going to go from here. But if, like I said, Nordstrom's got hit, Louis Vuitton got hit, there's no store that's safe out there. And there's not enough police to police the city because of how they set it all up so hey man i'm just giving you all a little game keep you informed um I'm, i stay my ass out of san francisco i don't really even go to the bay anymore because it's changed so much if i go out there it's for uh you know car week but um yeah man san francisco's off the hook and i know what type of cats they got out there and these cats is not playing and uh, you better be on your P's and Q's if you go out there. But, um, man, they hitting licks. Big Herc 916. Don't forget to stop by the Big Herc 916 store and pick up a sticker for your car or a patch or a sticker for your laptop or maybe a beanie or read one of the many books that Big Herc 916 has authored. You know how we do it. Hello. I'm Big Herc 916. Contact me for life coaching and motivational speaking.